Okay guys, so here's a quick and easy way to do multi-camera editing in Premiere Pro. You can see here, I already have a folder created for video footage. Double click it, right click the import button, bring in my footage that I've already imported onto my desktop, select import, there you go. So if you open up each one of these, you'll see I have two recordings from each camera. That's because when the GoPro records for a certain amount of time, it automatically starts another recording. So what I want to do is I want to take the first recording from each camera and I want to put a clip marker in there to time the cameras. So they're all on the same timeline. So let's just go through this. Double click the first camera. Turn the volume up some. And on this day, I forgot to honk the horn, which is usually what I use to sync my cameras. So what I'm gonna do today is sync the time when I start the engine. So turn the volume up. and press the spacebar to stop it. So let me zoom in on the timeline. Let's do it again. Boom, right there. Back it up just a little bit. So I hit the marker symbol, and now I have a marker right there. Okay, so that one's done. Go back up here to the next video, double click it. Zoom in on the timeline. Hit the space bar to play it. Okay. Back it up a little bit. Hit this clip marker symbol. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be really close. Third video, double click it. Zoom in on the timeline. Just zooming in on the timeline just helps me better locate my marker. Okay, back it up, play it again, right there, hit the clip marker symbol, okay. So now this video, this video, and this video all have clip markers. So what I do is I hold down the command key, click on each video, right click, and go down to create multi-camera source sequence. Click it. You can see how right here. Sometimes one of these three will be selected. You want to select clip marker. Now if that is grayed out and you can't click it, that means one of your video footages is missing a clip marker. And I usually go up and I change the name so it's easier to read. I'll just add a dash one. Sometimes, you know, dash two, dash three. Click OK. Now I have this multi-cam sequence right here. Now I want to place that into a new sequence. So go into the video footage window, hit Command N, and you'll see a new sequence window pops up. Change the name to sequence-1. You can call it anything you want. I just like this use this naming. Now I have a fresh sequence to drop the footage into. So, come up to Multicam 1, drag it in, select Keep Existing Settings. This is the video that has the three different cameras located in it. And then there's three audio tracks, one for each camera. So what I want to do is 
I only want to keep the soundtrack that is the camera that's on top of my helmet and it doesn't have sound in the left and right ear. Come on. Okay, so I can see here that soundtrack has two soundtracks in it, so delete it. Left and right. That one's got left and right, delete it. I only want to keep this one because uh, you can see it's only got recording on the left. So I want to add sound to the right. So go to the effects menu, type in fill. You want to select fill right with left. Then drag it onto the audio clip. And then you'll have sound in the left and right ear. So that's done. So now I have my video footage and my audio. So turn the volume down. So next thing you want to do is go up to the main preview window. Main preview window. Right click it. Go down to display mode and go down to multi-camera. Boom. Now you only see one camera because that's the only one turned on right now in the timeline. So if I let the timeline play, you'll see the other two cameras pop up. There's one. And there's the other one. And then that's sound. So now I got three cameras up on the screen. Let's stop it, hit the space bar. So this is the main window that will be playing in the video based on which of these three video cameras I have selected. So as I let the video play, I click on the three different cameras to show what's playing in the main window. So let's hit the space bar for play. It's playing. I want to switch to this camera right here. Click it. You want to switch to another camera, click it. You can see the, the picture changes in the main window. Select this other one, it plays too. Space bar to stop it. If you don't like where you did your camera trims, just go to this tool right here and select it. Drag it down and click on the uh, trim mark and just drag it wherever you want. You can do it to any trim mark. Just move it wherever you want. And uh, after I get all my cameras set where I want, then I come back in and I start editing out the, you know, the parts of the video that I don't want. And that's pretty much everything you need to know.